In this installment of The Basics, we're going to go back into Magic the Gathering, and I'm going to talk about mana, also known as basic lands. They're also the cards which you need to get out in order to cast spells, use creatures, or do anything else in the game, and I'm going to show you how. So let's check it out. This is mana, also known as basic land cards. Now, I'm using cards from my blue deck and my mana stocks, as shown here, to take you through this. Now, when you're playing a game of Magic the Gathering, one of the first things you do is you, you want to get out as many land cards, also known as mana, as you can, so you can start casting spells and putting creatures on the battlefield to uh, go after your opponent. But, there's a cost involved. So, when you want to play a card, so for example, we have this instant called Memory Lapse. It counters a target spell. You put it on top of, your, of its owner's library instead of that player's graveyard, so you can redraw it. The important thing is, it costs two mana to cast. So the number one plus the teardrop for the blue means that's two. So, if you have five land cards or mana out, what you're going to do is you're going to take two of those and tap them, which means turn them sideways. You can now play that card. Other cards have significantly higher or lower mana costs to bring them out. Uh, this is a creature called Coastal Drake from my blue deck. It's a 2-1 creature. It has flying. It costs three mana to get it out. So because I have five, after the upkeep on my next turn, I could put these back and then twist them for three, and that would be my three. One of the big questions in Magic the Gathering, and this has been asked and answered by different people with different ideas, and I alluded to this on one of my previous installments, is how much mana should you have in your deck? Now, if I remember correctly, I did mention the sweet spot is 35%. So, depending on how many cards are in your deck, you want to have about 35% of them being your land cards or mana. You don't want too much mana, because if you have too much mana, that's all you're doing is putting down mana instead of getting out your creatures and playing your instants and your sorceries. That bogs down the game for you, and if all you're doing every turn is just putting out land after land after land because you're only drawing that, you're going to have a bad time. So 35% is the number I use. Uh, it's not something I came up with on my own. This comes through playing a lot of games of Magic the Gathering over the years and talking with other players. Believe it or not, there are some players who think 10% is more than enough. I extremely disagree on that number because 10% is not nearly enough mana in a deck, especially if you have high cost cards. Yes, there are cards out there that cost considerably more than two or three like these ones to get out. And I do have a couple cards in this deck that cost that much. So 35% is the amount of mana you want to have in your deck. Now, mana, like everything else that has to do with Magic the Gathering, gets a lot of opinions from a lot of people, especially everyone that plays Magic. So you talk to 10 people, you're going to get 10 different ideas on how much mana you should have in your deck. And the amount of mana in your deck also dictates what kind of card you're going to have in your deck. Because depending on how much mana and how many, like, how many land cards you're going to be able to get out will dictate the type of creature, the type of instant, and everything else you're going to use in your deck. So my advice would be to look at gameplay from tournaments on YouTube or talk to somebody like myself who knows a lot about magic and who's been actually playing it since near the beginning. You don't want to just jump in and talk to someone who's only been playing for a few years because magic has changed a lot of times in the gameplay over the years and the card types. If you talk to someone who's been playing it since the mid 90s you'll probably get a better idea of how much mana you should have in your deck. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more CCG stuff on the next installment. Take care, everybody.